car get dough I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have I go hard, do what I need to make it last They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad Cheers to my past Okay, welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Recently I did a, a sign for my friend Gary and it I, I liked the way the wood turned out. It was a live edge sign um, and the staining. I, I really liked the way the staining and everything came out. So today I'm going to do one for myself. And we'll go over here, create a new file. The width is 16, height 14. And then currently it's two inches thick. And we're going to start from this right hand corner because it's a live edge and I need to be able to find the center real easy and this corner seemed to be the best place. And we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now the first thing I need to do is surface it because this material is a little lop, you know, it's a, it's just a piece that we cut on a mill and it's not that great. So first thing I'm going to do is create a rectangle of the, of the project, 16 by 14. Go ahead and hit create and close. Now we're going to go find it. It's way over here. And we're going to center it. Use our centering tool right here. Center it on the project and then hit close. Now we're going to go down here to the offset layout. And I usually just offset about an inch. And we'll go ahead and, and click right here outwards. So we're going to offset outwards. Close. Now we can delete that first one on the inside. Hit delete. Now we just now we have this outside one, and, and this is what we're going to use to surface it. So we're going to go over to our tooling path, and we're going to do it. We're going to highlight this outside offset. We're going to do a pocketing tool path. In other words, we're going to cut that whole thing. And right here, it has spoil board cutter 6210 three wing tool. That's what we're going to use, and I'll show you a picture of it right here. Now we're going to change this cut depth. I don't. I don't think it's. I think. We can do an eighth of an inch, which is 0 0.125, 0.125. So we're just going to cut this thing an eighth of an inch. We're going to do one pass, just back and forth. And that should give us a really nice surface. We'll go ahead and put our, our bit down here, 6210. And we'll hit calculate. So it's just, you can see right there, it's just going to do one pass and it's going to go back and forth. And we'll set that our we'll set it from this corner down here. Now let's go ahead and go and surface this material first, and then we'll come back and do the drawing for the sign that I'm gonna make. The first thing I do is get it all clamped down using my Rockler T-Track clamps, and I'll show you pictures of the ones I'm using today, right here. I then um, once I get it all clamped down really good and secured. You can see on the back of it, I actually use a board to reach out onto the live edge. And that worked really well. And then I use compression clamps on the sides. The next thing I do is I get out my 6210 uh, spoil board cutter. It's a three wing spoil board cutter. And I'll show you a picture of it right here. I then XYZ it and proceed to run the program. Okay, next up we're gonna do, we're gonna create our drawing. Now we've got our we've got our dimensions, our rough dimensions of this live edge material, but we're gonna need to create a couple boundaries. Now we're gonna go down here. We're going to change this thickness to 1.75 because we surfaced it. And we're gonna do a faster setting, a slower setting because we're gonna do a, something with 3D. Now we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now the first thing I want to do is establish my center of my live edge material. So I'm going to use a polyline. I'm going to go down here to this corner. Click on that corner. I'm going to go up 5 and 3 sixteenths. So 5 point, let's see, 3 sixteenths is... 1875, 1875. And then I'm going to hit enter. So that's actually my center mark. 
a deer just ran by my window. Um, and then going over, we're going to go seven. Just ran by again. Uh, seven and 15 16. So 15 16 would be five and three sixteenths, which is five point one eight seven five. We'll hit enter. And then we're going to go over seven point fifteen sixteenths is. Nine three seven five nine three seven five. Enter. Okay, the deer distracted me. Sorry about that. So there's our center mark right there. Now, the idea I have is to do a, instead of because I'm going to do a 3D carving. A lot of times, the roughing tool path has to go through the whole material. And it takes a long time. So I've decided to do a dished out. Um, let's go over here to clip art and see what we can find. We're going to do everything from the Aspire library. So we want an animal for the middle. So we'll click on animals. Now I think what I want to do is, is do a fish one, like gone fishing. And I used to do a lot of bass fishing. Actually here in Colorado, I, I've been fishing for trout a lot. But I do like bass fishing. So we're going to see if we can find a bass in here. And we're going to do a sign that's gone fishing. So you can see all these animals they have in here. Where is the bass? I guess we got to go all the way to the top. Work our way. There we go. So here's some bass. Now, I, I remember seeing one that was jumping, like a jumping fish. Let's see if we can find that. It's probably under J for jumping. Okay, there we go. Leaping bass. But if you look over here to the left, you'll see this little dish. And that's what I want because what I want to do is just do this dish so I'm not carving the whole sign. And that's what I'm going to try. Now, we want to move this fish down to that center. Keep it approximately in the center. And that actually looks pretty good. Now, we're going to hold the shift key down and make that a little bigger. And looks like we can move it just a little bit. I think right there is perfect. Okay. Now what we want to do, actually we need to make it a little smaller so we have enough room for our letters. Okay, that's good. So now, now we got our, that's our 3D fish in a dish. So the bit's going to come through here and it's just going to, do the rough out of this dish and the rest of the sign will be on the same surface. So we'll go ahead and click out of that. Now we're going to go back to our drawing tab. We're going to go to the text letter and we're going to do bold and we're going to do cap lock. We're going to put gone fishing. Gone. Actually we, yeah, let's, uh, Space, space, fishing. Now we're going to have to resize that, obviously. Let's close that. We'll highlight it. And we're going to resize it. And we're going to move it up here. We need to make it a little smaller. Maybe a little taller. Now, if the live edge is too, I think we need what we need to do is we need to put, pull this down as much as we can. And let's take another measurement here. We're going to go, I don't want this gone fishing to be up out of my so five was the center five and uh five and three sixteenths so we need to be ten and six thirty seconds which is three yeah let's go let's go up ten 
Let's see where that so so you can see that that gone fishing is too high right there so we're going to go ahead escape and leave that line there now we're going to move this fish down and we're going to move this gone fishing down okay now if all is right this should be in our live edge area so gone fishing, I like that. We'll go ahead and delete this line. Now we can go over to our toolpath and we're gonna delete this line up here also. So we're gonna highlight the fish. We're going to do, let's do the 3D one first. Okay. We're gonna close that, highlight that. We're gonna go right up here to this little pyramid thing and you can see it says 3D roughing toolpath. We'll go ahead and hit that. We're going to use this an eighth inch bit. Now this is a bits and bits 425-DNC and it's basically an eighth inch bit. Now that's what we're going to do the roughing dual path with. And I like to do back and forth as a raster. It seems to turn out good. So we're going to go ahead and put 425-DNC so we make sure we put the right bit in there. DNC. And we'll go ahead and calculate that. Now, why is it doing the whole board? So I did something wrong there. Let's look at that. So you can see it says material boundary right there. It's selected. Now I need to, I need to do model boundary. So we need to, we need to close that, delete that roughing tool path, delete all. Now we're going to go back to the, 2D view. We're going to go back to the roughing tool path. Now you can see now it's it's on model boundary and that's what we wanted. And everything can stay the same. We'll put in our bit number again. So you kind of have to pay attention to what's going on as far as when you do your preview. So we're going to go ahead and calculate that. Now you'll see now it's just doing the model, which is what I want. So let's preview that. And you can see it roughed it out. Now we're gonna close that. That's all good. Now we're gonna go back. We're gonna leave it highlighted. Make sure it's highlighted. We're gonna to go to our 3D finishing tool path. Now I always use this. Uh, this is a bit by Amana. It's a 46288K tapered ball nose. And it's done a really nice job. So I, I, I tend to keep using that one right now. If you know of a better one, um, this one really comes out nice though. We'll put the model number in there. We'll go ahead and calculate that. That'll take a little longer. We'll preview all tool paths. So there's the roughing one and there's the finish one. So now you can see instead of 3D and the whole board, we're just doing this, this area. Now, as long as we're in our live edge area, we'll, this thing will turn out pretty nice, I think. Okay, next bit we're going to do, we're going to exit out of there, and we're going to do the gone fishing. So we'll close that. We're going to do a simple V car. We're going to use a 90 degree 1502 V bit, and this is made by Whiteside. I'm going to leave this start depth at 0 0.05. That seems to turn out nicer. We're going, to, we're not going to project it onto the 3D because we don't need to, because we're our 3D is here. And our surface material is the same. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the, the number 1502. And we're going to calculate that. And then we're going to preview all. Now, even though, <clears throat> now you see these letters right here, they look like they're a little close together. So we're going to, we're going to go back and we're going to delete that toolpath. Delete that one. We're going to go back to our 2D view. We're going to go back to our, now if you go up here to this little arrow, A, B, it says edit text spacing. Now what we need to do is click on that and we need to spread some of these out because I noticed on the V car they were touching each other. So we're going to go ahead and hold the shift key down and click your mouse and you can spread these apart a little bit. And that's actually a big help because if you, a lot of times on the V-carve, if these letters are too close together, it'll um, 
the bit will interfere with the with each one. That's all good. We'll give a little gap here, a little more gap here. I just kind of go through each one and kind of spread them out a little bit. That one could be a little more. Okay, that looks okay. So we're going to go back over. We're going to highlight the, the fish again. Oops, we've got to escape out of that. Highlight the fish. We'll go back to the V-carb. Same bit, 1502. We'll go ahead and put the model number in there again, 1502. And calculate. Oh, reset preview. Preview all. There's the fish, and there's the V-carb. Now you can see the spacing's a lot nicer on the gone fishing. Okay, let's take this over to the machine and we'll do our 3D fish first and then we'll do the gone the V card last. Okay, I'll see you over at the machine. The first thing I do is install the rough cut. We're gonna do the rough 3D roughing toolpath first and we're gonna use a eighth inch bit by a mana and I'll show you a picture of it right here. We do the XYZ and run this program. First we home the machine then we do the XYZ and run the program. Once the roughing toolpath is done, we install the Amana 4.6 288 ball nose finishing bit and all we need to do is Z and I'll show you a picture of that bit right here. We then run the program. Once the finishing toolpath was done, it was time to install the 1502 V-carve bit and cut out the letters. Here's a picture of the bit right here. And we proceed to run that program. Thanks for watching this episode out Outlaw Woodworking. I, I kind of like this, this wood that I got from Montana. It's got this, they call it blue wood, but like I said, it's a, it's a type of pine from Montana. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to get some more of this. I do still have some more, we milled some, so. But yeah, I thought this sign came out really nice, gone fishing. You can see the dish. You know, by doing this dish effect, you basically, you don't have to 3D your whole your whole piece of wood. So it's a lot faster. And um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments of the Live Edge, the Live Edge sign. Anyway, I'm gonna give you a close up right now and thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time, later.
simple But I wouldn't trade a thing 